Alrighty, let's play this in full here. Let's play this again, it's fairly short. Cool. Yeah, it's really cool to see. I'm always fascinated by uh, using video reference really, really closely. Obviously, it all depends on the style and the purpose of it. But what I like about that is just seeing all the detail. The detail you put in on the landing, the adjustments on the feet, the little detail on the foot roll. Again, it's all dependent on the style. I wouldn't put this on a cartoony reel. But it's interesting to me in terms of a study option or just the way of looking at if I need to add more detail, like where would I put what? Like how is the root moving? I think overall it's really cool. There's good weight. Probably. I mean, it looks obviously it's it's matching fairly closely. You could experiment with taking the root and just making the whole thing like 10% faster. Just give it a little bit more snap during this section. I don't mind doing here. I think it's fine. Just to see, just to give it a, a bit more oomph. But I mean, that being said, it's also matching the reference. If that's what you're going for, that's fine too. The only thing that stood out to me, there are two things. Actually, three. Three things I would tweak. Um, again, you can leave this alone. Timing of the all that is fine. I'd just be interested to see with a little bit more, a bit more zest in there. But this is the big one right off the bat is the spacing of your arms. So if I track this here, you got your wrist here, and you can see it in the reference too as you follow along. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a lot of smoke around here. Even though we filtered the house, there's still stuff coming in. Anyway, it goes up, and you can see in the reference it goes up one more time. So your arm for the next one should be up here and you can see there's there's enough of an arc because it's not going to hit a wall bam there's going to be just enough that joint and muscle to continue this and in your case bam you hit that very harsh wall through there so watch this right there that i would definitely tweak i think it's better on the screen right one the second thing i would tweak is loosen up that head and match it a bit more to this there's a there's a slight feel of head ik or world orientation whatever it is on the riveter it's called where there's a lot of movement through there but the head is just very 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 um gimbally and i think there's more stuff you could do through there with some orientations and you might even just push even though as humans we try to do this but if you go if you look at this here the head is coming towards us and in the animation, it feels like it's just kind of staying put like a gimbal. And through there, that could be a bit more rotation and X there going up. Just stuff like that. And then if you can, and if you want to, do a pass on hands. Just looking at the reference, you can see all the nice detail. So right now, I see a little bit in the thumb, but overall, it's just a bit, even silhouette-wise, even though that's real, you can kind of push this a bit more, bring that thumb down for a nice silhouette, offset these a bit. And just tweak the rotations of the wrist a bit more especially through here i feel like you want to bring that up and the fingers up just in terms of balance and give this a bit more a bit more love through there so to me it's the biggest one is this hit here and then the head being just a bit too gimbally and then a pass on hands and fingers it's cool though i'm curious email me let me know what your um, just your process was like in terms of like what you got out of it. It's interesting to know what if there's anything specific you gained. And I think like if I go and watch out, this might be just a bit sharp. I know he has it in the ref, but there's something about the stop and then up, and then it's a bit this way, this way, this way. You might be able to smooth it out as well. Where imagine it's a bit more like that, and there's some stop and go and a bit of a zigzag through there maybe that's another one now that i frame through it that i would tweak and if this wasn't you know if this was the first pass and you want to go and continue i would keep the leg like this that is a plane but that is not a water plane for fire um, that silhouette, just the, the thighs just kind of match and it kind of the knee comes out of this here. Silhouette wise, I would tweak this so it stays a bit more like this. You got some negative space or come back to this. But in terms of balance, you're probably better off a bit like this. So if you want to continue and take that off and just kind of tweak it 
just on its own <clears throat> and then forgetting kind of the reference um stuff like that i would do and then change your normals or two-sided lighting just to kind of fix this as well all righty all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you